Hi, Tech128. Today we're going to take a look at the quad lock mounting system, specifically the iPhone 6 bike kit. The uh, quad lock iPhone 6 bike kit is, is a combination of a case and a mount to attach your iPhone 6 to your bicycle. The kit includes the bike mount, poncho, which is a cover, and the iPhone 6 case. You can see it's here in the case and they have kind of a breakdown of the parts showing the poncho which is a plastic cover, phone, case, and then the quad lock mount and some o-rings that come that are used to uh, mount the case. So they say it's the quad lock mounting system because the idea is you buy one case and then there are multiple different mounts that are available. They have arm mount, car mount, wall mount. They actually have a, a tripod adapter as well but it's not on the box here and I guess they sell a heart rate monitor for athletes. Not sure why it's listed as a mount. So the idea is you put the phone in the case, you twist and lock, and then you're ready to ride. Let's get this out of the box and take a look at it. It's uh, made by a company called Annex, designed in Australia. And I've already opened this up before. I've actually used the case, but just wanted to show people what you get. So this is the quad lock case and the poncho. So the case is kind of a medium grade thick hard plastic material a little bit of a flex to it and that's the quad lock mount and then the case is kind of a soft flexy see-through material i'm sorry the uh, poncho and then here's my iphone 6. your phone goes into the case and it's got a pretty snug fit you can see the ports on the bottom camera hole on the top and then a poncho goes over the top. So the idea is that the poncho will protect your phone against rain or other moisture such as sweat when you're riding your bike. I don't think this case is a really heavy duty protective case like an OtterBox or a LifeProof case. It's really more sort of like medium protection. The poncho will help keep it dry in terms of actual protection. If it came off your bike, you wouldn't be as protected as you would with uh, a more heavy duty case. I don't know if you can see it in the video. Yeah, that angle you can. There's these like dots in the case. And I think that on the poncho, and I think that's to basically keep the uh, poncho lifted a little bit off the screen. Oh, I forgot to mention, my phone actually has a glass screen protector on it. And I think that makes a difference here, but the touch screen is still active through the poncho. I had to slide really hard to unlock it, and then I can't use the fingerprint reader. And then when I tap my uh, passcode, which I'm just pulling the phone out of the frame for a second. Okay, so it actually took me that long to unlock my phone because each tap on the number on the passcode requires uh, required me to tap several times to uh, for it to be recognized. The touchscreen might be more responsive if I didn't have the glass uh, screen protector on my iPhone. Uh, I guess if I want to be able to tap on the screen while on the bike, I'm going to have to do it hard or kind of put up with that. So then inside here is the bike mount, and then here's the instructions and installation and usage instructions. So this is the uh, quad lock, the bike mount. You use the O-rings to attach it to the stem. The idea is uh, you go around the stem uh, and hook an end of the O-ring on each end. And it comes with uh, two different sets, a smaller one and a larger one. And it also includes these two big wire ties if you want to more permanently mount it and make sure that it's uh, snug. I will make a follow-up video when I mount this to my bike so we can see how well that goes and how snug and how snug that holds and everything. I guess one of the features here was that the multiple mounts, the idea was that you use the case uh, over with different mounts. I did buy some additional accessories. I bought the tripod adapter, which has a quarter 20 hole on the bottom. So you can attach this to a tripod and then use the quad lock case in your iPhone to take pictures or make movies and stabilize it on a tripod. And I'm going to use this to demonstrate the locking mechanism because uh, it's just a little hard to do this when this is not on the bike. So you can see here's this uh, four cross pattern on here and then you kind of just line this up and twist. So that's the uh, phone mounted in the uh, portrait position and then you can kind of give it another twist. Now the phone is mounted in the landscape position and it's a very 
very tight fit. The quad lock is very solid. And then when you want to take it out, you just kind of give it a twist, sort of in between either uh, landscape, 45 degrees in between landscape or portrait is the is the release. So I think the locking mechanism is really nice. And again, this was a optional accessory. Uh, it came in this box. And then they also had a wall mount. It comes in a set of two wall mounts and they have an adhesive on the back and I haven't opened these or used these for anything yet. But this whole setup was kind of pricey. The iPhone 6 bike kit was $69.95. The tripod mount was $14.95 and the wall mounts were $19.95. I ordered it from the uh, Quadlock website, quadlockcase.com. I was offered a 10% discount coupon, which I used, so the total came to 89.12 shipped. So that's a lot of money, I think, for a case. And it's certainly not uh, a highly protective case like a, a life proof for a otter box. I like the idea of having the uh, mounting system and uh, you've seen the other videos on my channel. I, I like to do some uh, smartphone photography. So I wanted something that I could reuse and get a tripod mount. And this seems very secure. You could use this case as the only case for your phone. Uh, you have to get used to the mount in the section. You definitely would not use it with the poncho on it. The poncho is something you would only use in wet weather. The case is okay. I mean, you definitely feel the bump. It's not sharp around the edges. You do feel the bump. The edges on the bottom are a little sharp, but I find that's true on a number of different iPhone 6 cases. And I never had a problem with that or noticed that in the past with the iPhone 5, but with the iPhone 6, I kind of hold my finger along the bottom here when I'm you know, one-handing my phone. So I do notice the, the rough edges on the bottom of the case. All right, so I will make a second video. Uh, I'll show you how to mount it. And then I'll also, we'll see how sturdy the, the, the quad lock system is when it's all set up on the bike. All right, so, uh, well, I think that's it for, for this video. Uh, if you found it useful, give us a like on YouTube. If you'd like to see more videos like it, subscribe to the Tech128 YouTube channel. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them here on YouTube or head over to the companion article on Tech128 and leave a reply and I'll try and get back to you. Thanks for watching.